Is fish oil bad for your heart? That's the question we're going to answer in today's video. Join us as we take a deep dive into the benefits and side effects of taking fish oil. And you're about to discover if taking fish oil supplements is good for your heart health. Fish oil is often marketed as an easy solution for improving heart health, reducing inflammation, enhancing mental health, and increasing longevity. It's the third most popular dietary supplement in the U.S., and many people consider the omega-3s in the oil to be crucial for optimum health. The industry is enormous, with Americans alone spending over a billion dollars each year on fish oil supplements. But is fish oil really a magical cure-all for health, or is there more to the story? That's why in this video, we'll also dive into the truth behind the fish oil industry. But before we continue, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel to help us reach more people. Also, don't forget to click that notification bell so you can be the first to know when our latest video comes out. Now back to our video. In recent years, some doctors and researchers have raised concerns that fish oil supplements may do more harm than good. And this goes against what most of us think about fish oil. Fish oil has been touted as this amazing supplement that can help protect your heart, ease inflammation, boost your mental health, and even extend your lifespan. So, is it really the silver bullet we think it is, or is something a little fishy going on? Well, for starters, fish oil is loaded with omega-3 essential fatty acids. They're marketed as essential because our bodies supposedly can't make them, so we have to get them from other sources. Furthermore, these supplements contain two specific acids called docosahexaenoic acid, DHA, and eicosapentaenoic acid, EPA. So, if we get our omega-3 from plants, we're supposedly missing out on DHA and EPA. That's because the belief is that our bodies have to take the extra step of converting the fatty acids from plants called alpha-linolenic acid or ALA into DHA and EPA. But here's the thing, labeling fish oil as an essential fatty acid is actually misleading and even harmful. That's because EPA and DHA are not actually essential since our bodies can create them when we naturally consume omega-3 and 6 fatty acids from dietary sources. Omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids can actually be referred to as parent essential oils, which are then converted into EPA and DHA. While studies suggest that DHA and EPA can help promote healthy triglyceride levels, improve blood vessel function, and even lower blood pressure, we should think twice about consuming fish oil supplements. When we take high amounts of EPA and DHA through supplements, we could actually be getting way too much than we need. In other words, we could be getting a super pharmacological overdose. Professor Peskin, a renowned engineer and life scientist, argues that when we consume omega-3 from plants, our body is more than capable of making the small amount of EPA and DHA that it needs. Furthermore, when we extract oil from fish, it's exposed to light and heat, which is really bad for fish oil. You see, fish use these fatty acids to protect themselves from freezing in cold waters. In fact, the warmer the water, the less of these fatty acids are found in fish. So, when we take fish oil that's been extracted, it can easily turn rancid, especially at our body temperature of 98.6 degrees. That's not all. Fish are often swimming in contaminated waters and in recent years there has been controversy over eating fish due to the amounts of heavy metals and pollutants found in them such as methylmercury, polychlorinated biphenyls or PCBs, dioxins and other harmful environmental chemicals. These harmful substances are stored in the fat of the fish and when oil is made from the fish, the fattiest part of the fish is being extracted. Thus we could be getting the part that's the highest in chemicals and heavy metals. That's why some studies say that fish oil doesn't work and can even cause oxidation in our bodies. And that's a major issue. Now let's talk about the importance of omega-6 fatty acids. Basically, they're like the superheroes of your body. They are a type of polyunsaturated fat that's essential for human health. One of the main functions of omega-6 fatty acids is to help regulate inflammation in the body. Inflammation is a natural response that helps our body fight off infections and heal injuries, but when it becomes chronic, 
it can lead to various health problems such as heart disease, arthritis, and cancer. Omega-6 fatty acids help fight off bad guys like inflammation, which can cause all sorts of health problems like what we just mentioned. But here's the thing, your body can't make omega-6 fatty acids on its own, so you have to get them from the foods you eat. And don't worry, they're not hard to find. They're in things like nuts, seeds, and vegetable oils. Consuming a diet rich in omega-6 fatty acids can also lead to a decrease in blood pressure in healthy adults. A study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition found that consuming a diet high in omega-6 fatty acids for six weeks resulted in a significant decrease in blood pressure. Additionally, research has suggested that omega-6 fatty acids may help maintain healthy brain function and prevent cognitive decline. Another study published in the journal Neurology found that older adults with higher levels of omega-6 fatty acids in their blood had better cognitive function than those with lower levels. In short, it keeps your brain from becoming all foggy as you get older. So, that's pretty good, right? But here's the catch. You can't just go crazy and eat a ton of omega-6 fatty acids. You need to balance them out with another superhero, which we've already talked about, called omega-3 fatty acids. If you don't, it's like having too many good guys on your team and not enough bad guys to fight, and that's not good. Thus, it's important to maintain a balance between omega-6 and omega-3 fatty acids to ensure optimal health. Try eating some fatty fish like salmon, sardines, mackerel, or tuna if you're looking for some delectable ways to get your omega-3. Some excellent choices include flax seeds, chia seeds, walnuts, soybeans, tofu, spinach, kale, and grass-fed meat. Vegetable oils including corn, soybeans, sunflower, and safflower oil are good sources of omega-6, as are nuts and seeds like sesame, cashew, and almonds. In addition, whole grains, avocado, eggs, and poultry are excellent sources. To maintain good health, it's vital to balance the importance of omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids. Omega-6 and omega-3 ratios in the Western diet are frequently high, which can cause inflammation and other health problems. So it's a great idea to consume both in moderation to preserve that healthy balance. Now let's talk about the potential dangers of long-term fish oil use and how it can upset the balance we were just talking about. Dr. Daniel Pompa, who specializes in cellular healing and detoxification, says that most fish oil is rancid and should be avoided because it can create an imbalance. In nature, the ratio of omega-6 to omega-3 is usually 1 is to 1, but when we consume high doses of fish oil, this ratio is thrown off balance. This means that if you're taking fish oil, you need to balance it with other fats, like arachidonic acid found in butter. Studies have shown that cultures that eat a lot of oily fish also eat a lot of other fats. However, when we add fish oil supplements to a standard American diet without the balance of other good fats, we could be doing more harm than good. When we fail to get the right balance of fats over the long term, it can destabilize the mitochondrial membrane, which is the powerhouse of all our cells. If there's too much omega-3, it kicks out a fat called cardiolipin that helps the cells create energy. Without enough energy, the function of the cell can be severely compromised, leading to poor health. Numerous studies indicate that omega-3 oils, such as fish oil, can be dangerous for our health. For example, a 2013 study concluded that the risk for both high-grade and low-grade cancer was increased with higher levels of omega-3 fatty acids. Moreover, studies have found that fish oil supplements do not decrease heart disease risk. In a 2002 article published in the Medical Journal of Cardiovascular Research, researchers studied a group who had coronary artery disease and were given omega-3 polyunsaturated fatty acids from fish oil. And the results showed that this didn't slow down the progression of plaque developing in their arteries. In a further study in 2003, a controlled trial found that patients who consumed three fish oil capsules daily had an adverse effect leading to more deaths. But what about omega-6? As we just mentioned, omega-3 dominance can be dangerous and it is also vital to understand the role omega-6 plays. Conventional wisdom warns against omega-6 because of its inflammatory nature, but remember that it only causes this inflammatory response when it's rancid. Omega-6 plays a critical role because it contains linoleic acid. 
This acid is vital for your health as it makes up 33% of your cell membranes and 40% of your mitochondrial membranes. And the health of the cell membrane is critical as it protects and organizes cells, regulates what enters the cells, and regulates how much of any given substance enters the cells. And that's why it's important to have a good balance of omega-3 and omega-6 to protect the integrity of your cells. So if you're taking fish oil, make sure to balance it with other fats like arachidonic acid found in butter and be careful about where your fish oil is coming from. And don't forget that omega-6 also plays a critical role in maintaining a healthy cardiovascular system, but it only works if it's not rancid. And it might even increase your risk of heart disease. While previous research touted fish oil's heart-protecting properties, recent studies have put that claim on the chopping block. In fact, some studies even suggest that taking a lot of fish oil supplements could up your risk of certain heart conditions like atrial fibrillation, which can set the stage for stroke. Crazy, right? In summary, this means that the fish oil supplement train might not be as solid as we thought. While many people consider fish oil to be a vital dietary supplement for maintaining good health and preventing ailments like cardiovascular disease, there are some factors to consider. Fish oil, made from oily fish, can spoil easily due to oxidized lipids, making the science behind it pretty tricky. Plus, recent research has got folks questioning whether these supplements actually do prevent disease since many of them contain high levels of oxidation. While it's agreed that omega-3s are vital for heart health, it's still unclear whether popping pills can offer the same perks as actually eating fish. To truly confirm the benefits of fish oil supplements, we need to see some hard evidence from clinical trials. And keep in mind that research on fish oil and how it affects heart health is still ongoing and different studies may come to different conclusions. So the bottom line is, it's not that simple. The science is still out there and we don't have all the answers, not yet anyway. But in the meantime, try to eat more fish and other rich dietary sources of omega-3 and omega-6, instead relying on fish oil supplements alone. And as always, it's always a good idea to consult with your doctor before making any significant changes to your diet or supplement routine. So before you take any fish oil supplements or any other dietary supplement or medications for that matter, it's crucial to speak with a healthcare professional and to pick brands that are known for their quality control. We hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to click the like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell for more healthy natural remedies. We want to keep making informative videos for you, so if you gained value from this video and would like more of it, you can send us a super thanks by clicking the thanks button at the bottom of the video. Thanks for watching, and we hope you're having a healthy and happy day.